support tax credits. Don't you, Douglas <coughs> Gulls, when I, you voted I, in favour of them? I voted with the government on this, yes. but I'm also supporting Frank Field's amendments. And let me explain why. Right. It's, it's so you've had a change of heart no, a bit on this? No, no, not at all. It's absolutely vital that we stop the taxpayer from subsidising low pay. There are a lot of big corporate interests who, at the moment, have their payrolls subsidised by the taxpayer. That's wrong. That has to change. So employers should pay more, which so, is what the government so has said it's, it's trying it, to do. I so that. That, that, is, that needs to be done. But at the same time, and we've been here before, in 2010, when George Osborne tried to change the child benefits, unfortunately there was a, a cliff edge effect, if you like. Mm. And what Frank has very sensibly done is said, can we do something to make the process of introduction a little bit gentler. He's a creating a new cliff edge, though, really. No, it's actually, if you look at the details, it's actually going to be much gentler. And I think this is, people who want welfare reform like I do, I think should look seriously at what Frank's suggesting, because it gives welfare reform a good name, and I think it makes it harder for critics of welfare reform, who frankly aren't being fiscally... Uh, in the, well, we'll, and we'll come the, to uh, Dawn uh, again. because I'm are, are, are being realistic about this. I think if you look at what Frank is suggesting, it makes it easier to justify welfare reform and it doesn't discredit the idea of, of, of reform to the tax credit system. Right. Let me come back to my original question because you wanted to raise those issues with Liam Fox. If John McDonnell is promising to reverse the cuts, how will he pay for them? He's costed how he will pay for any of the cuts that he's put forward. Where? So he has costed those. I, have, I haven't got it's the figures. Well, I, you know, uh, we I need to see, it, we need to see it, that, though, don't, don't we? Where is yeah, it? No, absolutely. And I'm sure that Frank, I'm sure that he will come on board. John but, McDonald will say, John, this, you, this you is how we... About, hang talk, on, well, let me just finish. Douglas, let me just finish. You can come back I agree. I agree that... You should, what you should do is take out low wage, low wage, low pay, take them out of the, of the tax bracket so that they can, so if you're earning 13,000, which is the minimum wage, you shouldn't pay tax on that because yeah. you end up paying tax on that and then the government ends up paying it back to you in tax credits. So do you support Frank Field's plan? I agree plan? that they should be taken out of that bracket, but this is not the way to do it because what you're actually doing is you're making people poor. Right, but you still haven't answered my question. You say John McDonnell has costed it. I'd like to see the costings of where he is going to find four and a half billion pounds. That's the saving from these tax credit changes. Yeah, and Joe, I haven't got the figures Fine. in front of me. Do you think it was I'm wise sure, to promise that I'm before sure, actually specifying where that money was going to come from? I'm sure that he has got those figures and I'm sure he's working through those figures because there's one thing for sure, there's a different way to do this and we know that there is a different way to do this. The Tories have the way to do it and well, that's on the backs of MPC. the poor and, and, it's not, and it's not saying that they're not economically competent and I just think it's wrong to do that and it's, it's MPs, wrong to do MPs need to be straight with the British public. You can cannot continue to have a country where big corporate payrolls are subsidised by the taxpayer. It keeps people in poverty. It's fundamentally so bad more, economics Douglas. and you unethical. That's why we should raise the living wage, but reduce the uh, uh, extent to which the taxpayer subsidises low pay. Right. But you but do, where would you? Where would you? If All right. Well, let, well, if you if you do what you suggest, where would you cut the welfare budget in order to balance it? There'll be other ways that I'm sure that it could be. Number where? one, that they could be. It could be more efficiently managed. So some things are not. I mean, I used to work in the employment. To the tune of four and a half billion to, pounds. Well, there, there'll be other ways rather than because this will not save the country money in the long run. Because you'll have more people who would be homeless. You have more people that would be having to use food banks. You'll be more people. So this will not save the country money it, in the long run. It's it's saving pennies and it'll this end is up getting is it, Will it more. will it not save the money that it is supposed to do so? And. In the end, are there other ways, are there other monetary levers that you could use to try and help those on low pay? Well, if you want to have people with more disposable income, the best thing for the state to do is to take less money out of their pockets in the first place, which means lower taxes, which of course we've already done by raising the thresholds and taking huge numbers of money. And that, that costs money, but it's good because it gets people uh, rewarded for actually working. Douglas is right, we have to stop this incentive of taxpayers subsidising big corporations. I think we all agree with that. Um, and we need, to, it, we need to change the way our society works. And, but we have to be realistic that we cannot continue to live beyond our means. We're, we, we're just having this discussion as though we're in a fiscally neutral position. Mm. We're massively overspending as a country still. The government is trying to get it down. And the Labour Party are resorting to Mickey Mouse economics when they're telling us... That yeah, was my absolutely. <laughs> well, well, you were, and, it wasn't, and, you were, and you weren't the originator of that either, Douglas. It's not all clay. But we, can, but we cannot... We, you cannot have a situation where you can move to a higher wage economy, a lower tax economy, unless you're willing to control your overall spending. And if, if this is a relatively small in terms of public spending contribution... It's it not takes small us, for the people it, who are well, going to struggle and it, suffer it as a result. Us, it takes involves. us back to the 2008 
levels, which was hardly uh, a time of penury under, under Labour. And since then, we've seen wages rise, we've seen inflation down, we've seen tax uh, thresholds rise, and that has all helped people move in the economy in, in the correct direction. Now, or, this cannot, this, no one's suggesting this, is, this is, can be a painless process, this total correction to our economy. But I go back to the point, we need to finally. understand that we can well, continue to... Why don't we start at the top instead of starting because at the bottom? Because there are... Let me give you a tiny example. Oh, hang on, I'll hang give on. you a tiny example of where it's been Last right. point, and then Dawn, I'll give you the final if, one, then we must on, finish. If, for example, uh, one thing that uh, Labour quite often talk about is, oh, you must uh, bear down on, on uh, the buy-to-let people. Under George Osmond's last budget, those on buy-to-let see their tax very considerably increased yes. to the extent that they will say we're being taxed out of existence. Well, for the first time, I mean, people, you know, we're, we're having a different discussion. I'm going to give you the final mm. word and then we've got to... I was going to say we could tackle tax avoidance, we could tackle uh, duty, tackled. we can tackle duty fraud that hasn't been tackled, that would bring in £1 billion into the economy. There's lots of different well, ways that you can... But you Butler, can, the low-hanging fruit can, has probably can, gone by now. But anyway, let's... Frank's amendment. That would solve a lot of it. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, are you going to support it? Uh, yes, I will think you I will. Will you support it? Uh, if I'm going to have a good read at it first. All right. Oh, well, then we might have got, because this is well done, Douglas. Thank you. <laughs>